Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. The hurricane recovery zone. Power outages in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas are quickly falling after Delta. Around 125,000 customers without electricity now, down from a peak of 825,000 on Friday. But new this morning, people in Lake Charles and other southwest Louisiana communities are exhausted, but not defeated. Everyone realizes recovering from two hurricanes will take a whole lot of patience pretty time of year. Um, so yeah, you're going to lose a lot of degrees, but it's going to be really nice. The blue sky, all of it. Although there, there's other things that come along with these changing temperatures, like a lot of wind. I want to show you that too. So let's look at where we are. Wednesday's forecast, you're going to notice the change. Wherever you see this wind coming in from the, the north, the northwest, or the west here, that's bringing in the colder air. When you get the south wind, that'll be the warmer air. So look at all these northerly winds all the way down through the plains from Wednesday into Thursday. Here comes the cold air. Temperatures drop off. We're 30 in Bismarck. We're 33 in Rapid City. And then we're barely recovering into the 40s for Thursday afternoon. This is 3 o'clock. This is your warmest time of the day. And you're 46 degrees in Minneapolis. You are staying in the 30s all day in International Falls. And with it comes a wind chill factor. We've got winds out there which are going to be blowing 40 to 50 miles per hour tomorrow from Rapid City over towards Sioux Falls. We've got 35 to 40. You know, it'll be a pretty strong south wind out ahead of it. This is a warming wind. And then watch when this cold air comes in. It's still windy, but yet you're just dealing with wind from a different direction. That surges all the way south here. We've got Abilene with some gusty winds. Lubbock, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. Midland, Texas also will see that. That's all associated with that cold front and that colder air mass that is coming on in. And what a change it brings because out ahead of it, when we have the south winds, we're hot in San Antonio at 90, 94 in Abilene, Lubbock. You're still thinking about swimming, right? If your backyard pool is still open. But then here comes the chill and we do have that north wind bringing in the cooler air only 68 degrees in Lubbock. So from 90s to 60s, Kelly. And it looks like the hot weather Before is here and after Delta just because of what happened from Laura. So this is a levee loop here. This right here is the levee loop. You can see before and signs that there was damage before Delta hit. And then we had flooding from Delta. That's these darker areas that you can see right here. We also go into uh, Tuna Lane and Flounder Drive in this zone right in here. You can see a few blue tarps out here, but you can see even more blue tarps now post Delta. Unfortunately, more wind damage in the area along with some flooding. And that's a sign you can see here with these darker areas showing up in this satellite imagery. All right, Steph, give us a moment of zen.